into the living room there uh there was i i do have i don't have a lot of expensive items in there but i i did i was i am missing a uh a pearl necklace uh, oh, that, did, you, did you check the house did you make sure nobody is still in the house yeah i went at least went around the house at least most of most of it i don't think anyone okay. was are you there. okay if i go in there and just check the yeah, rooms you, while you're out here okay yeah you go ahead go ahead do, I'll go do in your and thing check it out. do your thing here let me i'll cover you do me a favor hang tight out here for me we're both gonna just double check your house make sure no one's in there yeah, and, really then, and then we'll come out and finish up a report for you <laughs> i just hate it because they could have gone with my underwear drawer and everything it's still violated i understand this is a terrible thing do me a favor hang tight out here okay okay i will thank you Sheriff's office coming in the house. If you're in here, make yourself known. Do it now. Yeah. Sheriff's office. If you're in here, make yourself known. Check out all the Where? Sheriff's office. If you're in here, make yourself known. Kitchen's clear. All right. Nobody inside. Let's talk a little that, bit more about what's missing. Good. Yeah, it's the, that pearl necklace. Okay. Do you know how much it costs about? That's a $500 necklace. Okay. All right, you said you were gone for a couple of days, right? Yeah, at least a couple of days with the girls, you know? Okay. When did you leave? Uh, let's see, what, what is today? Sorry, I'm just so, a little frazzled. No, absolutely. Today would be Sunday. Yeah, so I left uh, Friday. I left, I left Friday. We just left for a couple nights. You know, just get away, go out of town for a little bit with the girls and everything. Okay, then you returned today uh, just a couple, just a few minutes ago, an hour ago? And at least, like, an hour ago, or not even that. I actually just... I don't know. I, like I said, my brain is so yeah. crap. Maybe like 20 minutes ago. It hadn't been long. And I was on the okay. I was on the line with dispatch for a good bit before they finally got to me. But um, okay. they made it seem like, uh, you know, I know what they were trying to do or say that it happened right now. And I was like, no, I was gone. I didn't see nobody. You know, I didn't. Not gotcha. that I, you know what I mean? Like, this is one of those situations where I'm like, I just I can't help it. <laughs> I hate it. And did you did you tell anyone you were going on a trip aside from your girlfriend? Did you tell? Do you have a, a significant other, family, friends, anyone? No, no, I kept my boyfriend to the curves. He cheated on me. And then no, the only friends of mine that knew or were the ones I was with, and that's that was Cerise and Lisa. We were gone for the weekend there for a little bit, a couple nights. Okay, and then so you said you kicked your boyfriend to the curb. Was was that a bad breakup by chance? Yeah. I don't think he would be related to this, but I mean, it really wasn't. It just, I, I just wasn't about to have somebody who's cheating on me, you know. They want okay. nobody oh, like sorry that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah no, that yeah. is terrible. Okay. Well, can you point me to that broken window? I'll take a, I'll take a couple of pictures of it. Um, do you happen to have any home security systems, like a ring doorbell or a Simply Safe security, anything like that? No, no, unfortunately, no. I, okay. I really need to now. I, I needed, I needed Absolutely. to do that. That was my plan whenever I broke up with him, because I just, I didn't know what he, what cape. He just had anger issues, and I didn't want him trying to like come here or anything. But, and okay, I. Okay, well, what's I, his I, name? Uh, his name is Tony. What's Tony's last name? Oh, uh, like Richardson, I think. Yeah, Richardson. Okay. But I can okay. I can point out the uh, broken window. It's around the side here. Okay. Yeah. Let me grab my camera out the car and then we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Sir. Thank. So I, how how are you, ma'am? Do you need any uh, medical attention or anything like that? No, I'm not hurt. I'm just broken hearted. You know, breaking okay. in my house. 
Yeah, not much. Not much paramedics can do for that. Wish no. they wish they could. No, no, just my pearl necklace. You know, that was my that's my grandmother. She just passed. And that's they took my, your grandmother's pearl necklace. They did. That was the who gave her the pearl necklace. Who gave her the pearl necklace? That was yeah. She always had that pearl necklace. Oh. Like okay. that was something that she that she gave to me when she before she passed. She said she wanted me to have it. Gotcha. All right, let's okay. take a look at that window. Okay, okay. Jeez, I just, I can't believe this gentleman. That's so terrible. Right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. This big bay window here. Give me just a second. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else or anything. There might be. I'm gonna take a double check here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a shatter over here on this, uh, the bedroom window. But it's not completely broken. I don't know if they could, uh, they tried or something, or, I don't know. Which bedroom is yours, ma'am? Is this window right here, has this window always been broken? No, that has not always been broken. It just looks, it looks kind of shattered, but it's not busted through. I, okay. I, I just... This one, this one right here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got another shattered window. Back in the middle of the bedroom window. It's kind of not busted all the way through. It's just shattered. It's going to be the double windows just around the corner here. Oh, hang on one second. Got this window here, and then it's gonna be right here. These two windows. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry. Whatever y'all, whatever y'all need to do, you take your time. I have my ID and everything. I can hand that off to you for a reporter and anything. I can get that for you. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, we'll get all your information here in just a couple of moments. Let me just grab a couple more pictures. Said you just you just broken up with your boyfriend. That's that's right. That's right. Been a bit, you know. That's why I wanted to get away for a couple of days. It's, only, it's been a battle week ago, though. When I did, when I broke up. Was it? Was it just? Was it for the better? I would imagine it was for the better. Usually breakups are for the better. That was definitely for the better. I mean, I loved him and everything, but he cheated on me. He was, you know, I, I was surprised I didn't catch him or anything. Wow. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, there are bigger, there are more fish in the sea, as my grandmother's always said. Yeah, more fish in the sea. You got that right. That's right. That's right. Are you, uh, are you gentlemen having a good day so far? Oh, yeah. Oh, so far, so good. Um, I'm glad at least someone is.
Let me just take a look at this other window real quick. Um, there have been some uh, some fibers on there, maybe from a piece of clothing they were wearing. Hopefully that'll uh, turn something up. But let me go look at this other window real quick. I'll get you a case number. Um, I unfortunately also worked the other burglary that happened in the area. And the reality oh is the best thing that we can really do in this case is get you a case number so you can file an insurance claim. I would highly suggest investing in some home security. Yes, um, yes, you're, you're right. I've, I've been, like yeah. I said, I've been tending on doing that ever since my my boyfriend and I, I kicked, you know, I kicked him to the curb and we broke up and everything. And I, because he, he does have some anger issues. So, okay. but I don't foresee him doing this. I don't foresee him being more of a thief, but you really never sure. know. Um, it could be potential, it could be a way to get back, but I don't think he would be doing that to me for that, considering this has happened elsewhere and nothing to do with me. Uh, exactly. You know, because that would be really kind of out of the ordinary for him, so I don't, I don't, I just don't foresee that. But like I said, you never know. Some people, it just really surprised you in the long run. So, um, I hope whoever it is, you, you boys catch him eventually, because, uh, this is, uh, is starting to get a little little creepy being at home but i'm definitely going to get that investment going on. i'm going to go down to utool and i think they got some good brands of electron uh, electronic home security system equipment oh they absolutely do and there's some really good stuff you might have to pay a subscription fee or something yeah, uh, yeah. but you know it's it's definitely worth it and let me like i said let me go take a look at this other window real quick make sure i didn't miss anything then we'll uh we'll get out of your your hair okay are you good are you good here yeah, LT, I'm okay. good. I appreciate right. you. No problem. Ma'am, I hope you uh hope you everything turns out okay, okay? Thank you so much, officer. You have a great rest of your day. You too now. I like them pants. Thank you. Yeah. Um, while you're doing that, let me go grab my purse to get my uh ID for you. Absolutely, please do. Thank you. Yep. I have that ID for you. Perfect. If I can grab that from you, ma'am. My name is Sandra Billings. All right. Thank you, Miss Billings. Certainly. All right, let me give you my card. Here's that for you. That'll have my contact information. And then I'm gonna have two different numbers for you. Okay. If you wanna take note of them, let me know when you're ready. Sure. So the first number I'm going to tell you, this is the report number. This is the report that I'm going to write. Uh, it talks about what we discussed uh, and all the evidence that I took in. Mm -hmm. And that case number, that number is 311-93. And then the call ID, this is what dispatch wrote up that got us here. That number is 288-16. All right. right. So everything I did here, I took some uh, took some glass shards that I found that came out from this busted window here. Now, uh, you know, it looks to me like they they busted into your bedroom window. That's how they opened it. They got their arm through there. Oh my god. They climbed god. in, and for whatever reason, instead of just going back out, it looks like they busted out this big bay window, and uh, took off from here. They left behind some little fabric, possibly from clothing. Probably was easier so. for them because they might have noticed. I do have a fence gate right there. 
That is true. That is true. So if they if they got any idea, or they could have came from behind there, you know. I, yeah, and that know, is certainly all stuff we'll look into. All of that. So, for now, like I said, you can use those case numbers. You can contact your insurance company. Hopefully, um, you can get at least some money back for that uh, necklace. I know it probably has a lot of sentimental value, so money's not going to replace it. But it does. It does but. Yeah. I'm Hopefully least, that'll at, at least, least help. Want the, at least want the claim of the, the money back on it. At least that that's, that, that, you know, that, it's, it's not the money that's, it's like you said, it's the sentimental value. My my grandmother rest her soul. That was her dying wish for me to have that necklace. And yeah. It's fun. Oh. And and that is that is the most infuriating thing about burglars like this. The people doing it have it no is. idea what they're doing. It is. They, they I, don't know. I just I they have no regard for people and their belongings just exactly don't, they don't give a shit they really don't exactly we're gonna do everything we can to find them like i said at least get your insurance claim going um you may want to contact uh, someone to get a board put up over the window until it gets replaced uh okay. just to prevent other burglaries but i think i could call my dad he, okay I, he's he still lives around town and he, he can great help me get the last um redone and everything and It'd be a lot more it'd be cheaper for me than um calling in a technician or somebody like that who could fix the windows exactly I mean, hell i work on cars so i mean you see my car out there i could probably do it myself if anything but oh, yeah it shouldn't be too hard I'm i would hope a little just so shook up i'll definitely be calling my dad because uh he'll he knows a lot about the electronical stuff with the system so he'll, he'll come over and get involved Perfect. Well, before I take off, do you have any other questions for me? No, you've been a great help, and I really hope you catch this guy because it's uh, I I just can't even uh, I can't think today over all this. I feel so violated yeah. to go through my bedroom like that. You could rifle through my painting doors, thing. That's just disgusting. Absolutely. And if you if you end up noticing anything else missing, give us another call. You can uh, call me directly, and I will come out and take a follow up report. Okay. Absolutely. I will already miss Billings. That. Already, you have a better rest of your day, okay? You as well. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Yeah, Dad. Yeah, I was broken into. Yo, yeah, I was home. I was out with the girls. Yes, I went with them. I need a security. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that boyfriend of mine. No, I don't think so. That it wasn't Tony. It wasn't Tony. Okay, listen, just come and get me, and we'll get the stuff going, okay? We'll get... Dad, I, I promise I'm fine. Okay, all right. <laughs>